Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well and having a good time with your family and friends. So, it's been a long time since I have ever made my narrated video. I was busy in my <laughs> exams and I've been free from since week. So, I have decided to make a special video for my friends who face problem while drawing and this is a special video for the armies. As we all know, Jake Jungkook's birthday is nearing on 1st September so many of us will try to draw him but only few will succeed and I'm coming with a series of videos where I will be talking about the complete process of drawing the JK and from the sketching, outlining, shading, eyes, nose and every part of the face of the portrait that I have chosen so I would be very very happy if you watch the video to the end and this video is about drawing the sketch the outline a perfect outline by using a great technique i have always talked about it but this is a special video so i will be talking about and narrating the whole process so here is a photo which i have chosen so this one is the reference which i have used to draw this time and uh, i have used a grid technique uh, by using a grid app uh, mm, the boxes are 15 on length wise and 8 on breadth wise and uh, blackened it by using a filter in pixart because i don't find it good by using a mobile app so, so this is a reference we will be drawing this one and i will be uploading the video uh, the link of the photo you can download it again uh, with the grid marks over it and also one more thing is um, if you follow the process i would be really happy to know the result the kind of result you get from it so i will be giving a link of my instagram you can share the result to me there and you can also follow me if you find it helpful and i will follow you to back follow back you and that's it so let's start with the process of drawing bts check let's get it fighting army and now we will start the process by using a grid technique to draw the portrait where i will measure the length of the paper which is 24 centimeters and my grid has a 15 columns in length wise so i will divide the 24 by 15 and we get 1.5 centimeter 1.6 centimeters and we will mark at 1.6 centimeters both horizontally and vertically make sure that when you mark the lens they should be similar both horizontally and vertically that is 1.6 centimeters here if you make mistake while marking then you will not get the correct results so you can see that in the side i have covered the portrait that is because of my mistake i missed the um, marking and due to improper marking my results went wrong and i have to redraw another portrait and now we will join these points by drawing straight lines so if you are unable to draw straight lines you can mark at both the ends at 1.6 centimeters and join those points then you can get the straight lines um, so we will take out our reference and label the boxes as a0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and on the length wise we will label as a b c d and so on up to the 15th box now 
the grid sheet is ready we will start drawing from the eyes i always recommend you to start by drawing the eyes it becomes easy so the eye starts from the g3 column and g4 in the starting half portion of the eye is located in g3 and the after rest part is located in the g4 so while drawing using a grid you should make sure that you carefully observe that how much part is occupied by a certain part of the face in a grid in a box that means if the eye covers half part of one box and the other box fully then you have to draw by tracing in your mind so that you can get their exact results this is the thing what we have to keep in mind while drawing in grid sometimes we rush into further results and as a result we don't observe carefully what we have to do or why we where we have to draw and how much portion should be covered in a certain box and at the end we don't get the perfect results and we may think that these this technique is waste and it's of no use but it's not like that you have to observe carefully and now the tip of the nose is located in the i3 and i2 boxes only a small portion of nose touches in i2 and i3 boxes you should keep in mind that that only the tip is touching to these two boxes and draw carefully and the nostril spot is located in the h h2 and h3 and observing by carefully we will draw the lips where the upper lip is located in the i2 and i3 but nearly the half portion of the i2 and i3 is covered by the lips and next is located in j2 and j3 in the similar way with the upper lips the lower lips also cover only the half portion of j2 and j3 now we will start drawing the head part which is in a2 and half of the a2 is covered then a1 and then we will start drawing the hair hair outlines are the hair sketch where it's they are located in c2 and they start from the c2 and end up to f g h and i until i we will draw the hair and the chin part which is located in i1 j1 k1 but you can see that in the i1 the chin is covering nearly the half of the grid but when we come to the j and k the portion is reducing because the shape of the face <laughs> that's it so i am defining clearly these things because we don't get a result if we don't observe it and i have made your work easy by observing it carefully and if you don't get the portrait you can just slow down my video and can follow that you will be able to draw but if you are trying for the first time you won't get the result as similar to me because it's been nearly two years for me in this journey and if you're starting then you have to lose something but yeah if you observe carefully and put more efforts then you can get a better results and now 
the hair part of the right side what what we call that it's a hair style or the bang i don't know what we call to that so that starts from the c2 and it keeps on slipping down to d3 and e3 and then it joins at the f3 part and then at the head part i have done a certain mistake here so forgive me please yeah now we will start the other part of the hair from a no it's from b5 and c6 d7 e7 and a8 you have to draw clearly in by observing that the right side is in a5 b c6 and d7 mm, the part i have drawn now is the hair part you can see and the other thing is that now we will draw in the shirt part also the in this reference he has worn a black shirt so it's it was a little unclear for me so it i took a time and find out the clear way to draw this and that's it if you find it helpful please subscribe and like it and thank you for watching my video thank you